jujitsu, horsemanship skills. It's such a broad topic that we could go on to lots of different angles with it. But what I wanted to tell you about Hatsumi Sensei is that he has horses and he has a lot of different animals. And probably one of the reasons he has those is to observe them as well as his love for them. When we were recently up in Oregon with the rogue mounted archers, we found that the training we got with them was way more than what we expected. We started getting into the nuts and bolts of training in Bajitsu, which we went up there to learn horsemanship skills, and these girls were incredible. They didn't disappoint. They had Hungarian-style bows that are recurve bows, but they were holding the arrows with the bow up front and cascading the arrows down so they could turn and flip these shots and shoot like three to five arrows within a few seconds of each other. And most of the archery shooting I've done in the past, you're setting your bow up, putting out on a knock, having it on a shelf, pulling it back, aiming, doing the whole thing. They shot from feeling. And this is where it felt like ninjutsu to me all of a sudden because they weren't aiming the shot. They were a little bit, but it was more of an instinctual shooting. And they're going 25, 30 miles an hour on these horses, not holding on to reins, just hugging with their legs. And they're in tune with their horse with the gallop, and then they're shooting these targets. And this was where I just couldn't believe it and it felt so good so they taught us how to do their style of shooting with the bows and then they put us on spot now spot is a quad racer with the trailer on the back with a barrel with a um, a saddle on it and then we got to shoot going you know 18 miles an hour at first then 19 then 20 and then 22 and what was really cool is the teaching that they did they just throw you into it they throw you in the mix right away and it's like training in ninjutsu. You just go on the mat and you just start. One of the, my favorite parts of the trip going to Oregon uh, to meet the mounted rogue archers is as soon as we got up there and we stepped out of the car, literally, they were like, so do you guys want to shoot some bow and arrow? And we, we just went right to their shooting range in their backyard. It's such a cool little range. And they've got this disc machine that shoots out these big foam discs and shoots it up in the air, almost like skeet for shotgun. And you hit it with bow and arrow. And it's unbelievable because you have to like track this thing instantly, have your arrow pulling back and then target it and shoot all within just the matter of a second. Why do you take Bujin Khan and go do horsemanship skills? And why do you shoot archery? And why do you do primitive skill training? It all ties in together and it has this overlying theme that always comes back and you learn so much by being a student and taking in what's in your environment and what's being taught to you new and it makes you a richer and deeper person. So remember to keep cross training and explore the 18 skills on your own. Find different ways for you to go out and experience new things.